<laughs> Fire needs three things to survive. I'm gonna teach you what the three things are. The first thing is fuel. Do you, does mommy and daddy drive a car? No. Yeah. Yes, and what do they put? What, what do they put in their car to make it go? Gas. Gas. That's right. They have to go to the, to the gas station to put gas in their car to make their car go. Right? That is fuel. Well, a fire needs fuel too. In a house, the fire would be like the wood or furniture or anything that can catch on fire. Your clothes, carpets, drapes, anything. In this case, what is the fuel on my candle? Guys, you have to sit back crisscross applesauce. I cannot do this. Hands in your lap. What is, what is, what's in the candle? What's the fuel on the candle? White. This, white stuff, this is called wax. Can you guys say wax? What is this thing sticking out up here? A needle. It's a wick. It's a wick. It's a piece of string that has wax on it. It's actually all the way down inside the candle. This is the candles for the fire. The fire's fuel is going to be the wax and this wick. Understand? Okay. Now, if we light the candle, if we light this wick, what's going to happen? Girls. It is. You, you want to see? Got it, guys? Okay, I can't do this. I need you girls to do crisscross applesauce hands in your lap. Okay, we're going to light it. There we go. Now watch what happens. There it goes. Do you see it? Do you guys see it? Okay, it's lighting, right? So we've just realized that the fire's fuel right now, let me get that on there. The fire's, the fire's fuel is the wax from the candle and the wick. Ooh, look at it go. Do you see it? Now, another thing a fire needs to survive is oxygen. Everybody take a big old breath in. There it is. That good old air that we need to breathe into our lungs. Yes? Yes. So a fire also needs oxygen. So now we know there's two things that a fire needs. It needs fuel, which in this case is the wax and the candle wick, and it needs oxygen. See it brighten? See it's getting bright? It's burning so good. Now, you know what else it needs? The third thing it needs is heat. Heat. It needs heat. Now, if I were to, how do you think we can take away the heat? Uh, a breath. A breath? So if I blow it out, will the heat go away? Yeah. Well, you want to try it? Let's find out. On the count of three, you got to stay where you are. On the count of three, we're going to take a big breath in and we're going to go, we're going to blow it out towards the candle. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Yay! We took away the heat and what happened? It's smoking away. What happened? Fire! The fire, what happened to the fire? It went away. The oh, fire away. went away because we took away the heat. Now I'm going to try something else. We're going to light it again. Okay. All right. We're going to light it again. Because we took away the heat, right? We blew it out. We took away the heat. Now what if I took away the oxygen? What would happen if I took away the oxygen? Breathe. What do you think is going to happen? Breathe. Don't no blowing, no blowing. We took away the heat by blowing. But if I take away the oxygen, the air that we breathe, what do you think is going to happen? Somebody tell me. We all die. We don't die. You think the fire will go out or will it stay lit? It'll stay lit. Well, let's find out. I have a jar. See the jar? I'm going to put this jar over the candle. And I want you to watch. I want you to watch what happens. It's going to take a while. Watch what happens. Okay. You guys still see the flame? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now inside is oxygen. What's happening to the flame? It's gone. It's gone away. What happened to it? It's gone. It's gone away. How did it, why did it go away? Because it took away the oxygen. 
I took away the oxygen. It can't breathe anymore. If I were to hold your nose, or if, I, if you hold your nose and you close your mouth, you can't breathe. Don't do it. Please don't want y'all pass now. But you couldn't breathe. You'd be taking away your oxygen. So with a fire, we took away the oxygen. And look what happened. Do you want to do it again? Yeah. Okay. Make sure it's not hot. All right. I'm going to do it one more time. Some of my friends want to see it again. I'm doing it again. Obviously, I don't know how to light a... Use a lighter. Very good. There we go. All right. Let's get it nice and burnt. Nice and going. There it goes. It's got oxygen. It yeah. has fuel. <laughs> it has heat. No blowing. We're not blowing. It has heat. But now again, let's take away the oxygen. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. I can still see it. You can still see it because there's a lot of oxygen still I in can there. See it. But as the oxygen gets less and less, what's happening to the candle? I can't breathe. The fire went. It can't breathe. We took away one of its things and it needs to survive, right? Yeah. All right. One there we go. Now, what if I took the fuel away? How could I take the fuel away? Hmm. Well, let's see. All right, what do firefighters use to put a fire out in the house? Uh, uh, water. 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 Now, there's some special stuff in their water to make the fire go out even faster. I don't have that stuff, but I do have some water, okay? Now, what is the fuel that the fire needs for this candle? Uh, Who remembers? Water. No, what's the fuel? The fuel is this white stuff. What's that called? Uh, uh, you fly you? Say wax. And then what's that little piece sticking uh, out? Uh, Do you remember? Uh, candle. It's the candle. It would say a wick. wick. Two things wick. is the wax and the wick. Now I'm going to light it on fire one more time because now we're going to take away its fuel. Okay? Heat. We've taken away its heat by blowing it out. We've taken away its oxygen. Not yet. No, McKinley. We've taken away its oxygen by putting the jar over it so that way it can't breathe. Now we're going to take away its fuel. What do firefighters do when they have to take away the fuel? Uh, water. They use water. Watch closely. Listen too. You hear that? Just keep watching. It takes a while sometimes, even with firefighters. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. Now, I'm gonna try to light it again. Do you think it's gonna light? No. Do you think it's gonna light? No. Well, let's find out. Oh, this is hard to do. There we go. Light. Let's see. Light. I see it. Oh, it is. So you know what that means? What? We didn't take away the fuel, did we? We got to do it again. Yeah. We got to. Oh, it's. But it's not staying. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Wait, what's happening? It didn't have enough. We took away all of it. What happened? What happened? Fire! I thought maybe we didn't have enough to take away the yeah. fuel. What happened? Yeah. It went Did out. it stay? It went out. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Let's double check it. Okay, this hypothesis is we're making here, right? Yes. Yes. I do hypothesis. This is hard to I do. Here we go. Uh, Wait, right, listen. Listen. Now watch. I can't light it. You guys see? Yes. It's really hard to light because what did we do? It, we took away the fuel. We took away the fuel. Do you see? Yeah. So let's review. What does a fire need to survive? It needs...